Apple added even more restrictions on Mac-based Apple Silicon chips, and things that used to work on Mac are not supported anymore. One of the painful restrictions applies to virtual machines platforms, like the popular virtual box that's not supported anymore on Mac-based Apple Silicon chips, and people who are used to work at virtual machines are in big problem. So in this video I will show you step by step how to install virtual machines on Mac-based Apple Silicon chips. So without further ado, let's start! I found two platforms that work on Mac-based Apple Silicon chips, and they are Parallel, which is paid platform, and UTM, which is completely free platform, and this is what we are going to focus in this video. It's very important to mention that Parallel is subscription platform, and the price is not cheap at all. The price is start from 100 bucks for one year. And if you need much stronger virtual machine, the price will start from 120 bucks for one year. But if you're looking for the best performance and you can pay the price, then Parallel is the right platform for you. But if you're looking for a free virtualization platform, then let's start downloading UTM. Enter to the link of UTM and press on download. Now enter to the link of Spice Guest Tools and press on download for Windows. When the download process of the UTM is finished, press double click on the DMG file. Drag the UTM to application and wait for a minute. And now let's enter to the applications and find UTM. Press and open, and now we can disconnect the UTM drive. Press on the plus button and create new virtual machine. Click on virtualize and choose Windows. Press on download Windows 11 ARM64. When the website of Microsoft is open, sign in to your Microsoft account. In case you don't have account, then create new account. In select audition, choose the most up-to-date version and then press on confirm. Under select product language, choose English and press confirm. Press on download now and then click allow and the download process will start immediately. The file size of the operation system is around 10 gig. So, the download process will take a while, and I recommend taking a break. After the download process is finished, let's go back to the UTM and press on Browse. Choose the VHD file that's just downloaded and press on Open. And then click Continue. Now we are going to set up the hardware that we want to provide for our virtual machine. In my opinion, to get a good workflow, you will need to provide 4GB of RAM and 4 CPU cores. Since the capacity of the RAM is measured by megabyte, you need to multiply the capacity of the RAM you want to provide with 1024. For example, 4 GB times 1024 equals 4096 megabytes. 6 GB times 1024 equals 6144 megabytes, and so on. In the end, press continue. In the share discovery, press continue. In the summary, press on save. Now scroll down a little bit. Press on CD DVD and click on Browse. Choose the ISO file of Spice Guest Tools and press on Open. Now let's power on the virtual machine. The first load of the operation system will take some time, so we need to be patient right now. When the Windows interface is loaded, press on Shift, Function, F10. The button combination will open up Command Prompt. Press on D, colon, and then press Enter. Type DIR and then press Enter. Type Start, Space, and enter the name of the exec file. In case you want to make the process faster, you can type the force later and then press on Tab button and you will receive automatically completion of the full name. Now the installation wizard will open up. Click on next and then I agree. In the end, select reboot and click finish. Now choose your country and press on yes. Choose the language of your keyboard and then press on yes. In case you want to add another language, press on add. And if not, then press on skip. Now Windows will install some updates. 
needs can take some time. In the license agreement, press on accept. Enter name for the computer and then press on next. And now the computer will reboot. Choose setup for personal use and then click on next. Enter your Microsoft account and then click on next. Enter your password and then press on sign in button. And then press on next. Now press on create a pin. We will enter a pin code, repeat it for a second time, and in the end press on OK. In private settings I recommended disabled everything. And if you decided to activate it later, you can always enable the settings. In the end press on accept. On customize your experience window, press on skip. On use Android, press on skip. In the backup, press on next. On Microsoft Office 365, press on Decline. On Game Pass, press on Skip for now. And now the operation system will start to build your profile, which can take some time. And when it's done, you are ready to work with Windows 11. Let's increase the window to full screen. And I have to mention it provides feeling that you work on actual Windows computer and it doesn't feel like virtual machine. The performance is so good. I open a few apps like Chrome, Spotify, Notepad and so much more. And the workflow is excellent and smooth. To learn more about macOS, check out our Mac playlist.